12 terrorists, one cop. The odds are against Sean McLean. That's just the way he likes it. Yo, so I know we're still t still technically in November, or we are in November at the time I'm filming this, but get around this time of year, people start to get ready for Christmas. Christmas shopping's going on, get, getting all the stuff ready for the big day, all getting ready for whatever holiday you're, treat you're preparing for. But one thing that people tend to do around this time of year is also you know, get around to watching some of their favourite Christmas movies. Now, every home will have their personal favourite Christmas movies. Some it may be something like Home Alone, maybe Na National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, it may be one of the numerous Christmas carols. But for my family it was probably Muppet's Christmas Carol. But one movie that I've seen people classify as their favourite Christmas movie for a while was Die Hard. Now, this brings up a question that seems to come around every single year ago. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? This seems to be a debate that people have been having for a while. Some say it is a Christmas movie, some say it isn't. I, for you... I, for years, having never seen Die Hard until yesterday, I, for years, was mainly thinking of the overall franchise. I was thinking to myself, Die Hard isn't a Christmas movie. Or, if people did consider it a Christmas movie, I thought, I'd consider it an action movie first. An action movie, then potentially a Christmas movie. But that was because I was probably thinking of the overall franchise. Now, like the Terminator movies, the Die Hard movies aren't exactly beyond my time. The only ones that are really beyond my time are the first three. Die Hard, Die Hard 2, and Die Hard with a Vengeance. Those are all beyond my time. But I would have been ten years old when Live Free and Die Hard came out. And I do actually remember the marketing, the trailers, when A Good Day to Die Hard was coming out. So... Yeah, the Die Hard movies, like Terminator, they're not exactly beyond my time. But I was, as I said, I was thinking of the time of the overall franchise, and I was just thinking, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? I thought it was an action movie first. But I finally decided to get it, bought it, sat down, watched it through, and after watching it through, I can't, can't see what people mean. I mean, if is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Yeah, I think by the definitions we give it, then yeah. Of course, you've got Bruce... Because this movie is from the late 80s, 1988 I think it was. And you've got Bruce Willis as a New York cop named John McClane. He's travelling over to Los Angeles in order to try and reconcile with his wife, who's a strange wife, uh... Holly, played by Bonnie Bedelia, at her job. However, at her job's Christmas party, her the building is hijacked by a group of terrorists. A group of terrorists led by a man named Hans Gruber, played by the late great Alan Rickman. And along with his henchmen, play one of them played by Alexander Goodenough, he's got plans. But of course... McLean stands in his way. And he, along with the help of his limo driver and a cop who he's kind of talking to down below through the CB radio, he's going to find a way to take back the building, rescue his wife, and get out of there alive. So, yeah, as I said, this debate has kind of been going on online for years. People asking, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? And as I said, four years since I didn't know the exact specifications of it and I was thinking of the overall franchise, I just thought Die Hard was an action movie. An action movie series. But after sitting down sitting down and watching it through, I think by the loosest definitions, yeah, you could consider it a Christmas movie. I mean, if when somebody would mention if somebody mentioned Christmas movie, it Die Hard wouldn't be the first one that comes to my mind. As I said, I'd probably think of something like Home Alone, or one of the numerous Christmas carols. But, as I said, by the loosest definitions, this does technically classify as a Christmas movie. I gotta admit. I mean, it take, I mean, it takes place around Christmas time. 
the wife is currently at a Christmas party at her job, and ultimately they ride off in a limo into the kind of fading sunset to, I believe it was Let It Snow? I, I'm not sure if I remember that entirely correctly, but yeah. I mean, P. I mean, yeah. I mean, but Lucy's, as I said, but the Lucy's definition, this is a Christmas movie. It wouldn't be the first one I'd think of, but, you know what, it's pretty good. And I think one of the, I think, like the Terminator franchise made Arnold Schwarzenegger, I mean, he had, he had some other movies, and he had other movies, but when you think of the Terminator, you mainly think of Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think the Die Hard movies did the same for Bruce Willis. I mean, literally, you think of... Bruce Willis nowadays, and probably one of the first things you think of is Die Hard. I mean, as I know, he has had other movies. I mean, one of my one of my personal favourites of his when I was younger was Over the Hedge, which, oh yeah, I've kind of realised now, yeah, maybe not as great, great as I remember it, but you know what? The Die Hard series made Bruce Willis, and he's still one of the greatest today, but I also admit Alan Rickman as the villain... This is just brilliant. I mean, he's kind of cold, cynical. He's not like the kind of stereotypical supervillain. He's just a guy who just wants to get it done and get it over with, and he's just being grumpy the whole time. I mean, you you can have your favourite grumpy Alan Rickman performance. You can have Severus Snape. You can have his role in Galaxy Quest. But... And I think Hans Gruber fits in with that group really well. Just someone who... <laughs> Who, hmm, to I know it. I know it was Jeremy Irons who said this, but to quote a line of his from The Lion King, his demeanor is very much "I'm surrounded by idiots," and honestly, he does it really well. So, as I said, do I do I consider Die Hard a Christmas movie? Well, after watching it through, kinda, yeah. It wouldn't be the first one I'd think of, but you know what? Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? I'd say so. So there's my two. Two pence in on the issue. Is that how the Christmas movie? Yeah, I'd say so. Anyway, till the next movie. <laughs> See ya.